Hello everyone, welcome to this presentation. Today my presentation topic is on social spider optimization algorithm. This is myself, Prashanto Dev. Thank you, Honorable Sir, for giving me the opportunity to discuss on this topic. So let's go to the table of contents. First of all, we will discuss about some theoretical terms in the biological fundamentals. Then we will discuss about fitness assignation, modeling on the vibrations, initialization, initializing the population, cooperative operators, mating operator, and computational procedure. So let's start with some critical terms. Uh, our social spider optimization algorithm is based on the simulation of cooperative behavior of social spiders so here we will discuss about how they uh, enter in the biological laws of cooperative way so in the very beginning a social spider colony is totally composed of two fundamental components one is member and other is communal web so as we know that uh, the member can be two types male and female so the male spiders are barely 30 percent and the female spider are barely 70 percent of the total colony members so the female spider is responsible for attraction or dislike in the commonality and they communicate with using the vibrations on the communal way so the vibrations may uh, some uh, depends on the weight and distance and for example, the strong vibration uh, can be produced by the big spiders or the neighbor members. The main population is divided into two classes, dominant and non-dominant. The dominant spiders have better fitness. Uh, normally, we we'll, we discuss uh, we measure them according to size uh, in comparison to the non-dominant. So let's sum up these parts. And so at the top of the tree we have the social spider colony it is uh, divided into communal web and social spider the social spider can be two types male and female the male can be two types dominant and non-dominant and the female can be uh, that attract or that dislike so our social spider uh, optimization algorithm uh, as of the entire search, uh, search space is the communal web and uh, the each solution uh, is the spider uh, represents the spider position and the weight is represents the fitness value of the solution so uh, let's uh, start the algorithm by defining the number of female and male uh, we will count the uh, female and uh, number of female uh, within the range of 65 to 90 percent of the entire population uh, we are using a floor function here and a random number between 0 to 1 and uh, as we uh, calculated our number of female then if we subtract from uh, this from the total number of member then we will get the we will easily get the number of males so here uh, we will construct a uh, set of s uh, here are the, the s composed of n elements here it is uh, sub divided into two subgroups uh, male and female uh, females are denoted uh, using f1 f2 uh, up to uh, fn and male groups are denoting m1 m2 and um, up to um, mn so here uh, performing the union operation uh, we will construct the S. So the first element of the S, S1, S2, will denote the first elements, uh, the females, uh, suppose F1, F2, and the uh, F of N element will be the S of uh, N element. Then when, uh, after the completing the female numbers, we will then we will add the male. So here in this case, so suppose the female goes to up to 100 then 101 will be male 1 then 102 will be male 2 and that's why the, it will carry on so let's discuss about the fit, uh, fitness assignation uh, here we are uh, using uh, the considering the maximization problem uh, the value you know, will be the value will be uh, as we uh, know earlier that uh, x minus uh, mean and maximus, uh, maximum minus mean so uh, 
particularly like that equation so we are use the objective function j and the j of si is the fitness value obtained by the evolution of the spider in the position si so here uh, best and worst values are defined uh, by considering the maximization problem the best is the we are using the max function best is the max of uh, 1 to n and the worst is a minimum value of uh, 1 to n uh, and using the objective function here so modeling of the vibration so now we will discuss about um, more, uh, vibrations. The commonal wave is used to uh, communicating or transform uh, transmitting information among them. And here is the, the important part is the weight and distance of the spider. So uh, logically the nearest spider or nearest member will get the stronger vibrations uh, uh, in comparison to the members who are in the distant, distant positions so if we consider that we are uh, is, mm, transmitting a signal from i to j or a signal which, which is passed by i and transmitted by j so the equation will be mm, like that uh, vib uh, vi uh, vibration I, uh, I to j will be wj into uh, eight, uh, eight to the power minus d square ij so here dij is the uh, Euclidean distance so uh, modeling of the vibration we will uh, discuss about three type of approaches and uh, the first one is the nearest member to i uh, in the figure we can see that uh, from this spider we are uh, communicating with the nearest member then the second one is uh, the best fittest value uh, here here from the spider we are uh, communicating with the best uh, fittest value and the third one is the nearest female here uh, from this the nearest female is uh, that point so here is uh, this part is considering so uh, now our term is uh, initializing the population so uh, here we can see that we have uh, randomly initialized the entire population we have discussed the, in our entire population we have only male and female so initializing the set of n of s uh, spider positions so here each uh, for each spider position f of i or m of i will choose them uh, randomly or uh, uniformly distributed uh, so we will use our uh, lower initial parameter bound and the upper initial parameter bound using uh, this uh, functions uh, i will be from uh, 1 to uh, nf or number of females and the, for the male uh, the q will be 1 to uh, n of m or the number of males and the j will be uh, as usual uh, 1 to n 1 to uh, 1 to uh, and until the number of uh, members so now we will uh, discuss about um, uh, cooperative operators for the female so the final movement uh, the attraction or repulsion depends on the uh, several random phenomena uh, model as a stochastic decision so here a uniform random number rm is generated in range 0 to 1 so if the rn is smaller than the threshold then an attraction movement is generated otherwise a repulsion movement will is produced so here is the mechanism uh, in this picture so now uh, consider about uh, discuss about the male point of view as we have already discussed that we have two types of male dominant and dominant members and non-dominant members so how we will calculate them here uh, we are using and um, according to their position we are using the median number uh, the weight value above the median number will be considered as the uh, dominant member dominant male and uh, uh, under the median value will be considered as the non-dominant male and the median uh, weight is indexes, uh, indexed uh, by n uh, plus m or number of female plus m so now uh, the mating operator uh, the mating in a social spider colony is performed by the do uh, dominant the dominant males and only the uh, female members so uh, in this case uh, we will we will have to consider a, a range or a radius uh, for the size of the search space uh, which depends on the search space 
so the radius will be calculated like this uh, we will iterate from uh, j to n uh, j equals to 1 to n uh, our higher bound to uh, higher, we will subtract our higher bound uh, to lower bound and uh, divide by uh, 2 into n or the number of members so now uh, let's see the uh, computational procedure and so uh, at the very beginning uh, or now let's recall the whole process again so as the uh, very beginning we will we have discussed that we will calculate the number of males and females so here uh, the calculation of the number of males and the uh, sorry number of females and the number of males will be calculated uh, by subtracting the number of females from n now we have to initialize uh, ran uh, randomly the female and male members and also the radius of the mating here and we will calculate the weight of every sp uh, spider we have uh, discussed about the maximization problem that uh, the j of s minus o's below and the best minus o's below then we have to uh, move the female spider according to the female uh, cooperative operator and uh, move the male uh, spiders according to the male cooperative uh, operator and the perform we will perform the mating operation and at the last step step 7 uh, if the stock criteria mates then our process is finished uh, otherwise we have to go back to the step 3 so here is the uh, total overview of our uh, social spider uh, optimization algorithm uh, here at first we can see the initializ uh, initialization our female cooperative operator and male cooperative operator and the mating uh, operator and the whole is the uh, communication that is depends on the communication uh, mechanism uh, this is the reference uh, from of our today's uh, discussion that uh, the contents taken from the, this uh, reference and thank you everyone for watching this session.